Now let's take a brief look at the three Worldview satellites on November the 25th. This is usually in the middle of the day between 12 and 1 o'clock Eastern Time. First is the Terra satellite, then followed by the Aqua satellite, and then lastly the Sumi satellite. Clicking in reverse, we verify that the atmosphere over the Gulf of Mexico is infected with artificial clouds from the chemistry added to the contrail emissions. This scene is somewhat typical for the 36 hours in advance of an approaching front. However, this operation is more aggressive than usual. Next, we take a look at the GO-16 satellite as it advances from darkness into sunrise on November the 26th to reveal man-made cloud layers. Notice as the cursor circles the thick lines of parallel emissions east of Tampa Bay and the RF frequency heterodyning of magnetic domains over the Gulf as evidence of metallic particles embedded inside the clouds as they move from west to east at the Cirrus level. Unlike Dane Wigington, who promotes the elitist United Nations IPCC version of climate warming blamed on carbon dioxide, independent thinkers are finding that evidence for any atmospheric warming is more consistent with the global deployment of covert climate weapons that manipulate artificial cloud cover with electromagnetic seeding in order to promote the false but profitable IPCC consensus of global warming. Despite his own conclusions that climate weapons are real, Wigington refuses to acknowledge the evidence that geoengineering is a climate warming program. Instead, he sides with the United Nations IPCC when he calls it solar radiation management. And in the rules of science, all IPCC conclusions of global warming are vitiated, rendered null and void when evidence of deliberate climate manipulation is discovered that was unknown or ignored in the hypothesis that claimed only CO2 was the cause. So stopping the use of covert climate engineering should be far easier and more immediate than engaging the planet in hundreds of years of profiteering schemes to lower carbon dioxide emissions. Look for links in the description.